There are many videos on YouTube that will show you how to make money on your homestead. Today, we're going to show you one way that will help you pay the mortgage. Timber harvesting is just one way that you can make money on your homestead that will bring in a sizable amount of cash if you have enough timber for them to haul off. Now we have about 10 acres that they were able to harvest and that translated to a few thousand dollars. So if you have timber on your property and you can get a hold of small track or even large track loggers, you can make a sizable amount of money just for having trees on your property. So far they've done one tree, it's gone in the direction that they wanted. Right now they're putting some heavy duty rope around the tree so that they can pull it with the skid steer, which is parked about uh, 200 yards away. Uh, what they're gonna do is they're gonna tie that rope to the skid steer and pull it ever so slightly as the loggers underneath the tree, uh, cutting it with the uh, chainsaw. So in addition to being able to harvest your own timber on your property, this is, uh, this is a pretty good way to get rid of trees that you don't want and not have to pay anybody to do it. Uh, in fact, you're getting paid to get rid of your trees. So if you have a lot of big trees around your house, we're in the piney woods, so we have a lot of huge old pine trees um, that can bring in a good, a bit, amount of, uh, good bit amount of money. Um, so instead of having to pay somebody to take down trees around your property, you can actually make some money to get people to take down the trees around your property. If I was to give you any more advice on processing timber on your land, it would be to go through a forestry service and have someone come out and just really walk you through the process. Um, it's really important that you know who you're working with, make sure that they're insured, bonded, licensed, all that good stuff. Um, you don't want to just hire any old Joe on Craigslist who says that they're a logger. You want to make sure that they are credible, they have a reputation. And a good way to do that is to consult with your local forestry services. Um, someone will come out generally free, I'm assuming, I didn't do that, but um, they'll come out and walk you through what you have on your property, how much it should be valued at, and also call around to the mills and see what they're pr uh, pricing out lumber for. Um, generally speaking, you get paid two ways when a logger comes out or a timber buyer comes out. You get a lump sum 
or they do it by the tonnage. And what that means is that they're hauling off uh, all your timber, they're taking it to the mill, they weigh it, they get a ticket, and it lets you know how much uh, timber that they process for that load. Most logging trucks will take anywhere from 15 to 20 tons of timber. So depending on the price per ton, let's say it's $35, you do the math, you've got 60 pounds worth uh, or 60 tons worth of timber. Uh, multiply that by $35, you know, you know, the loggers take their cut, the timber buyer takes their cut, and then you get uh, the remainder of that. Um, so it becomes a pretty lucrative in, uh, enterprise if you have enough land and if you have enough timber for it to make sense. So I hope that helps. And if you like more videos like this, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're interested in seeing more, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, something I forgot to mention. I'm editing the video right now, and I just noticed that I forgot to mention it. You just need to really, really prepare yourself for a huge mess. That's all I gotta say. Be prepared for a huge mess. Uh, a good large logging company will come out and clean up behind themselves, but if you're going to go for a smaller operation that is strictly there to get the timber and haul out, uh, just be prepared for a mess.